it's been a couple weeks since I did a update and since then track installation has begun on the step up under flip all this and more coming up next on PA and J throws Currently, a crane, they've been lifting pieces of track into place. Uh, what I saw when I was coming down, we'll head down to over there and get a closer look. And then we're in the park over in the Midway America section. Uh, but yeah, a lot of progress since two weeks ago since my last update. I was also here on uh, Wednesday, so uh, I did, didn't really get to see too much, but I saw a little bit, but it looks like they made even more progress. I did also see a uh, new structure when I was driving in uh, that it looks like they're installing. Here's a close-up view. Looks like the track is starting to make its way up with a step up underfoot. Cranes are currently installing the track. Should be inverted by then, I think, by where they are. Looks like I do see some workers up there. Yeah, it does look like there is one guy right up there. All right, let's head inside Hershey Park and get some more progress, okay? Well, as you guys all know, Pandemonium has finally opened back up. It opened last week when I wasn't here. Um, but yeah, it's back open and it is crazy. Uh, yeah, let's go catch a ride. I did get to ride Candemonium when I was here on Wednesday. Uh, usually I don't really get out to the park on a weekday, uh, but I actually decided to come 
this Wednesday, so it was it was a great time, and there was basically like no line for it, so it was it was a great time. Uh, I guess we'll head over to the uh, Kissing Tower and get a uh, high overview of the uh, construction site. Let's go. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I like it over here. Huh? I like it over here. Yeah. Look, it just goes just like this. I'm afraid of falling out. No, no, but look, we're not going to do anything. We can't go anywhere. Alright, all we're doing is just going up. Look, we're going to be able to see everything ever she wants. Just relax. Joy. Look, we're not doing anything. This is as fast as it goes up. Look. <laughs> Look, you want to go on those cars next? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the water Look how look, we're like up over everything. Here, can we get one? Oh, look at mommy. Come on. Look at mommy. Go ahead. Look, that's a Jolly Rancher ride. from that video um, just how much of the step up under flip they have done when you're looking at it from head on uh, and the uh, black cross uh, I think they're starting to actually turn out really great uh, black and red was actually my old high school color so uh, I think that's really cool that uh, I think it's a good color combination um, so I'm interested how it turns out when the entire thing is uh, finished. But so far, I really like it. Uh, it. I don't know how it will look by the end. Um, it could look really messy. Um, it, like a lot of people are a little are already saying that, but I think we gotta give it a little bit more time, and then I think it should uh, grow in all of us. All right, let's actually head over to Midway America and uh, Wildcat's Revenge to check it out. I can already see it from back here. I'm like still walking past Fahrenheit, so just goes to show you. And here's what the station looks like this week. Well, let's head over and check it out by Wildcat Catering. You see back there, that's all new wood right there. Looks like that's going to be for the first drop. And then there is the brand new track that is being installed. Not much to really show back here. That is the key thing of this week, is the beginning of the step up on this wood. At some point, I would like to see these trains instead replaced for a preview of the uh, brand new Wildcats Revenge train that was uh, revealed at IAPA. The, the under basement of the original station, as well as the work they are starting to put the roof back together. You got that tie back.
so it looks like by then we should now be inverted. So that just goes to show you how, like, this kind of reminds me of Jersey Devil in the, uh, the, the first, uh, dive loop that does the Raven dive, or whatever it's called. Very similar when you're going up into it, but then coming out of it, it's kind of like a swooping down, which that's, that's pretty creative as, um, As Jake Kelchup said, like, rather than using the original first drop, uh, pushing the drop back. That's, yeah, I agree with that statement. And well, that's going to do it for this week from Wildcats Revenge. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Um, please hit that subscribe button. Show your support for the channel. Uh, it, it really means a lot to me. And, you know, thank you for all that have done so already. I, I, I really appreciate all of you. And please leave a comment. I, I love reading them. Um, it, it means a lot to me. All right. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.